And we're live. How's everybody doing today? Make sure this feed's going through okay. Perfect. There we go. My dog is going nuts. Ah, no problem. This should be fun. I've actually never watched most of these matches, period, much less live. So well, it should be interesting, to say the least. <clears throat> we'll give everybody a couple minutes, just kind of poke their heads in here and see what's going on. But I'm curious to see all the kind of like <laughs> little mistakes. Hey, DK, little mistakes that I made like throughout the matches, to say the least. I'm feeling like I'm going to have some embarrassing moments where I look like crap. DK, I did enable Super Chats. I have no idea how it works, so I'm hoping I did everything right. I also got memberships, I guess, signed up where people can become members of the community. So if anybody wants to do that, I think there is a button on the homepage of the channel. I'm kind of new to this, so forgive me if I'm messing this up. Um, Captain Nero, we're just going to give people just a couple of minutes just to kind of get in from Facebook or Instagram or wherever they found the link to the channel. And then we'll see what happens. We're only at the two-minute mark here. We'll probably give it to about the four-minute mark. So, But I got all the matches queued up, ready to go. Oh, perfect. I'm glad to hear it's working. But yeah, so what I was saying earlier, um, I've actually never watched any of these. So I'm I'm curious to see what I look like rather than what it feels like. Oh, VS. I love it. 3 a.m. I hope this is worth it. <laughs> I hope so, too. Austin Fackender, is that how you say that? Welcome to the community. I love it. Hopefully I got your name right. Oh, nice. I'm glad people who watched it live are actually going to come back and watch it with me. Because believe it or not, the one thing with going to the Olympics that really sucks is you don't actually get to watch the Olympics. It's kind of like a catch-22. Um... Inside all of the rooms, you get a TV with like a channel that you can pretty much watch any venue, but you get the camera that is at the venue. So it's not like NBC's like live feed or any of the commentary that's going on with any of the events. It's pretty much just you click it and you're just kind of watching people do something like so if you don't understand the rules or anything that's going on, you don't really get much of it, but Nice, I did it right. That's a shocker coming from me. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, I was skinny back then. I can't remember the last time Senior Nationals was in Miami. I must have been real skinny. Hey, Revix PS4. Okay, so we're, we're pretty much at that four minute mark. Um. Let's start match one, but just as a little bit of a background here, um, just before we actually start the matches, I guess, um, just so you guys are aware, an interesting like kind of fun fact about me at the Olympic Games is I, um, when I looked at the draw before 2012 and 2016, I will just talk about 2016 for this, um, I actually, when I looked through the bracket, everybody that I had I had matched up with had beaten me before the Olympics. And when I said beat me, I mean like right before the Olympics. So the last time I fought that person, they hold a win over me. Okay, that includes the first guy here um, from Sweden. He beat me by a Yuko. He threw me with Dropsail. I remember the match. 
because I was really angry. I was somewhere in Asia and you know, it was, it was one of those things where I was getting frustrated because I, I thought I was better than this kid and I just wanted to prove it and I wanted to take his head off and put him through the floor and I couldn't do it. And I was charging and I was charging and he dropped underneath me and he caught me for a Yuko and I just, I couldn't get it back and it eats me till this day. So going into this Olympics, looking at it like, man, all these people have beat me before, but we got to get through it. So here we go. Let's just go ahead and jump into match one here. Um, let me get it going here and here we go it should just start playing for us let me turn the volume up because i think neil adams is commentating for this so this should be good i'm going to turn his volume up let me know if that's a little too loud for you guys because i'm trying to listen to it here got to the semi-final in london and he had we'll see if neil adam bashes me in any of these matches i'm sure he does who was to go on and become the olympic champion of course and Dude, no worries about me not taking a medal. Well, I get it. I, I wasn't in the best form in 2015 at all. So, a really bad bout of hey, and thank you, Jam EJ, for becoming a new member to the channel. I'm super excited to be able to get to uh, engage Working with all the members the to the channel. It should be a pretty good time. I'm really looking to kind of well. really build does. this community and you know help people become better grapplers. Oh, right here. I'm going to stop it right here because you guys got to know this about, about this guy. He has a sleeve grip that annoys the piss out of me to no end. It drives me nuts. And it's, it's kind of like a cat's paw grip on the end of the sleeve, right? But sometimes he grabs inside and he kind of holds it. But when you twist the gear around, it's really hard to tell. And it drives me nuts. Oh. Said that it has really helped but here we go. Uh, you can see I'm days. struggling to get it off. You can see him holding it there. Classic, Look at that. He's just holding on to it. And I'm like, I can't get it off. Handful. But it really it shuts down my Classic. judo when he has it. Because I want to hit him with those sails and those big cushy grumas. And I can't Swedish do it if he's team. holding my sleeve. For the Olympic Games. Well, the team manager and, uh, All right. I got his down. hand down. Go okay. Started to have a lot of success. Got a Jay Shields. Brother, I'm glad you like the lighting. At this Nothing like some three dollar so strips of plastic. In this <laughs> judo tournament. Oh look at that! I just can't get that free. Oh, that, look at that! I'm even trying to show the ref, like, hey man, make this guy let go of his grip. Look at his finger is all in there. I think he actually well, has the inside of it there. The moment, like, oh, Stevens, I almost throws me. And sweep. rule number one: fight the fight. You gotta fight the fight, guys. I'm going to turn my volume down. I think I'm hitting the yellow here. Dude, you got to fight the fight. Ignore the rest. Ignore the cheating. If you think a call is supposed to happen, it either comes right, or it so doesn't. Fight Travis the fight. Stevens. And I almost got punished there and was out first round. Keep, uh, his call. A little bit of controversy on the other mat there. And this uh, crowd really starting oh, to Oh, Christian, I'm glad uh, to know that you guys Travis showed Stevens. up to my seminar. I don't get around too Going often. To I got such a busy classic. schedule with Project 2024, my club, each. everything Still I do with Fuji. Match. Like, there's just so much travel. So it's really nice to be able to get out and about and, you know, actually get to meet everybody and engage with everybody and teach. Well, Pasek's got to do something. There's oh. a... No, you're not catching me with that again. You caught me with him. that in the summer. We're, we're not going down that train. So for those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually trying to There's roll into no deep half to get into split the legs. It's something I gone. do to everybody at training camps, and I've Pedro always there, wanted to hit it in competition, manager. but it's been a challenge. Doing a great job with this men's and people team, are aware at the games, man. They're not team. letting it fly. See, and Andrew, Towery, and I'm so glad you guys like the content. There, I'm really trying my best to get to at least Travis one video Stevens, out Monday to Friday. On it's been a challenge though, especially with all this. All. Uh, Project 2024, Delena, I believe that is. Um, is we basically run a nonprofit, a me, now. Jimmy, Pedro, and Chris Skelly. And instead of having people, you know, pay me to come out and do cancel clinics, you can hire Project 2024, which means me or Jimmy or somebody will come out. It's basically an Olympian. will come out to your club and teach a system of judo to you guys. And basically, I really hope the audience is seeing that right now. 
And basically, we push all the funds well. back into uh, the program for the kids to help fund them to Europe, fund them to training camps and competitions, and really try to help teach these kids how to get to that next level. Wow, two minutes in, Shido Shido. Inside two minutes now, in this bout. Hey, Grappler Station is here. Really interesting one, nice. Isn't it? I thought I saw that logo pop up. The United States of America. <laughs> you guys are ever in the Midwest and looking for a good judo school? Look them up. Two match in play and they just make so much noise. Attention now, fully focused. And for those of you guys who don't know, I love, absolutely love fighting in Rio. You would have thought in Brazil, in period. Taking it not easy, certainly not taking it easy, but having an easier time than this. Richard, are you talking about Project 2024 as far as the cost go? Well, like I say, Pasek is a, a real handful and makes it difficult for all of the top fighters. And now he's going for the arm again, whether he's hooked in or not. He needs a, PJ a leg Malamo. hooked in first before I he think starts I messed that up. But thank you uh, for becoming Travis a new Stevens. member. Although that really means a lot to me. Probably just dominating this fight. It's still all evens on that board. I'm super so excited about making happen. some member-only content left. and really trying to help answer everybody's question. Uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, now they Oh, no. Ooh. I oh, actually have no memory of that. I must have just blocked that out of my mind. Stevens kind of fell on oh. it because both of them... Hold on, I want to watch that again. I got to watch that again. Whoa. Hey, Alan from Brazil. Here we go. Oh, he picks me up. Oh, bail, bail. Then. Oh, I'm so lucky. Well, I'm so lucky. For a pick up. See, they can't score this because I actually... I'm on him. I'm not on the map. Well, so technically, I never touched the floor. I lucked out Travis there. Stevens kind of fell on it because both of them. Oh, I hope to be at Kano to too in New York. Time. You know, I was. I, I really tried to work with Shintaro and Gary to like get there, here, but that with New York and everything that was down. happening down, even Amtrak was like shutting down trains. I just the last I couldn't. Of I couldn't time. make it. I really wish I could have though. Hey, David, welcome to the community here on YouTube. Nice. What's going on? Thank you guys so much. The place at the moment. Oh, I don't know. I wonder who's getting booed. Hopefully it's not me. Job at hand. Taken to the ground or in fact went to ground himself and then on the counter. Honey, I didn't have my knee injured in 2016, yeah, well, but I had knee surgery in 2015, but it wasn't due to anything that, um, into a golden score situation. like structural. Today, I basically got three golden bacterial infections no all at the same time the throughout my knee, and, and I almost had my leg cut off. I, would, I only made it to the hospital with a few days to spare, the and they found the red the line uh, pretty much just above my belly button coming down from my knee. And I spent seven days in the hospital. Hey, Jonathan, thank you for becoming a new member. Well, no, I tell, I tell you what it is. Uh, there's a score there. Travis Stevens thought he had a score, and he did have a score. So oh, did we, did we miss the score? Let me, let me go back really quick, because we got to talk about this. Because I released this technique on my Instagram, and it did zero. Like, it, it tanked. But this is why I released it. Is this when I did it? Yeah, this is when I did it. So I want to try to pause this video for you guys. Taken to the ground. Pause. Right here. Okay. He technically is still defending the throw. And the cool little trick, I took it from a Russian. Nafontov used to do this all the time. And he used to be in my division, so I used to watch him. And I was like, oh, that is super nifty. Um, and basically what happens here is right there. You can see I just kind of take that elbow and I go collect his ankle and I pinch it. And then all I do is kind of roll my body over the top. And it creates a lot of torque on the knee. And because you're holding on sleeve on that same side, um, he basically doesn't have a post. So they fall for the that Yuko Wazari every time. Every time. Yeah, well, as I said, he, he's the one that's dominating this. But the scores are all even. 36 Honey, it did, left. I don't think it affected my performance at all. Situation. I think I was one today, you know, fortunate enough to stay like mentally tough throughout no the entire the thing. And come back then from it. it has to be decided by any kind of score first score oh the there's the score i the love match. it but now i'm panicking a little bit not gonna lie look worried there's no doubt about that referee just for the 
a couple of words to say. Is there a video reference? Pat, there? yes, I will no, do my I best just, to. Let so me pause it right here. Oh, I moved it. Oh my goodness. Let's go back. Do do do. Okay. So this is pretty much where we stopped. Okay. So just for you BJJ people, let's kind of explain the rules here for judo. Um, shido is for stalling. A shido basically accumulates across the board. It doesn't really do much. Um, Ivan Nafontov is the one Danny that used to do it. Oh, such a dangerous player. He once threw me at a grand slam in Brazil, right on right with a switch, and I landed on the top of my head. Oh. It was so embarrassing. It was in the semifinal. I took bronze at that event after he laid me out. I couldn't believe it. Imagine that. I bit so hard to not get thrown with Uchimata. I turned my hips so much he could throw me with a switch. Is traditionally done left on right in the change stance. So, ah, uh, it was terrible. Hey, Paul, what's up? There we go. So, the other thing is... There's a score there. Travis Stevens thought he had a score and he did have a score. So it's gone right. up on the board. So now I've, like I've pretty much won this match. But I really well, yeah, want to throw in free palms so I go for a pro But this just goes to show you that like, I'm, I'm feeling up. confident. I'm feeling in the groove. I'm starting to get into, to fight into well, judo. Because that first match is always super, super hard. I've still got to and, do it. So they come all out you know, attack. You really want to be able to show your judo. And you can see Jimmy in the background like, hey, man, Certainly just grip, just hold him there, and you're going to win this fight. Like, you got 13 seconds left. Like, you can't get you multiple shitos in that kind of time. So exactly this match should be over. His opponent. He won't run away either, per se, but if he gets the opportunity, he'll certainly try to eat some time in. And if that means he gives up another penalty or two, in fact, then... So be it, he charges. Down, we just we just floor, bail with the sumi. We bail time. with another sumi, and here we go. Ground. We're just eating the clock. He's trying to work. I'm pushing him around. All I'm trying to do is shake him, right? I'm not trying to do any one particular move. We're just rolling. We're shaking. We're pummeling. We're moving. We're trying to get that clock to die down. He just ran away a little bit there, but looks flat to me. Travis Stevens. It was close. It was close. I felt it like he was up and ready to go. Back to the training hall and and had this been like a little bit later on in the tournament, I probably would have smashed him. But match ones are always so hard for me. I think so hard for me. Are quite tired because of the and you know what? Getting getting into the tournament is the most important thing. You're like, man, I just gotta I gotta get past match one just to show that like the weight cut wasn't like the end of it. You know, so. We're through match one, um, beat Sweden, so I'm feeling pretty good. And you can see that I'm starting to run off. That's kind of like a, a tactic for any of you that um, fight long, like hard matches. Um, never let your body go from like 100% exertion all the way down to zero where you're just dead. You kind of want to come down off that high and it'll help you recover and it'll help you get back up into that peak performance again. So at the Olympics, what I was doing was I was running off and then I was running all the way back into the back room and I was like kind of bouncing up and down once I got to the back, taking my gi off, shaking my arms out and kind of keeping my body moving but gradually bringing it back down to zero so I didn't crash. Oh, Captain Nero, I'm glad you thought it was entertaining. I was freaking out a little bit before, man. It, it could have been my last games. And he hit me with that foot sweep right at the beginning. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, let's get into match number two here. So I got match two here. So I have America never, here. I didn't even know this guy existed on the circuit Stevens until I saw his name on the draw. The That's the honest truth. So I didn't know what to think good form. or what was happening the right five now. In the world. Defeated Sweden in the round of 32. But here we go. We're going to see game. what this guy's got. And Sabarov, I honestly thought I was going to walk out there and just lay this guy out. Sabarov, Uzbekistan, Ipon against um, Fiji. Kose, I was, hopefully I said that right. Um, I was pretty and much just, continues his you know, Olympic game. calm, USA, cool, collected like it was every day. White, and, fighting you know, blue, I didn't start like checking front. myself into the match until like I was just yeah, about to start walking to see out. see if Travis Stevens just starts with a different pace here. Yeah, Needs that's right, Neil. Just... Oh, Needs lost my grip. With a more positive attitude. First into the attack there. 
Got to make sure that with those. Hey, we got another new member. Thank you for signing up. That makes me so happy. I wasn't sure if anybody was actually going to sign up. I thought I was going to do it all for nothing. Trains very, very hard. Had amazing. Yeah, you never should. Never, never rule them out. But at this, at this point, in between, like. Uh, you would think that we've all qualified for the games. Like, I'm not even sure how this guy qualified, to be honest. I couldn't even tell you what tournaments he fought at, much less meddled in to get qualified. He's got good standing technique as well. He's got a really but I'm nervous right now. Super nervous. Shoulder throw. Because I didn't break any of those grips. You can see my posture. I'm trying to get him moving. My head's playing defense to him, which is never good. they're changing to the other side there. And uh, Sabarov hasn't done anything yet so far. So Honey, what do you mean by uh, mindfulness techniques seven seconds, before the match? Sabarov should be Richard, it was a it was a while. Basically, the rule of him. thumb at the games when you're talking about going through yeah. matches. Match number so, uh, one, like the break say, is long. Train, it's like really an hour, trainer, hour and a half maybe. Match, match number two might be an hour. Match number three might be like thirty minutes, and then so on and so forth. And they get they come faster and faster. He's a carpenter back home when he's spare time when he's not training. Yep, Go let's just take Steven, that Shido. Don't even risk it. The Shido's nailed. always worth it. Don't don't be Never the hero up. and try to fight out of those Go positions. I do like that one. Oh, I got to okay. pause it. Because you're asking a great question. Christiane? I'm probably messing that up. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, but one of the things that, that the, that's getting asked right here is... Do we know the refs and if they're gonna what they're gonna allow in Nawaza? And if I drew certain people and the answer is yes. I I had actually panicked a little bit um going out into my semi with the Georgian because I felt like that ref had kind of screwed me out of some matches um previously. So I, I was like, I remember looking right at the ref and being like, oh, you're not going to take this from me. Not this time. I'm, I'm taking this. So, yeah, we do know them. And it, it's important to kind of keep those mental checks as you're going through the circuit to figure out what refs are going to let you get away with what, which ones are more likely to give you Shido calls and so on and forth. But it changes so much. I think we just do it just to act like we're trying harder. But I don't really think it matters. Um Yeah, I do. I, I get very nervous and like I kind of get like goosebumps a little bit. Hey, Judo Fanatics is here. Holy crap. Um, yeah, you know, everybody's a little bit different during long breaks. I do this thing where I lay on the mat and I kind of put one leg up like this. And I do this weird like wrist limp where like my elbows on the mat and I just kind of like lay there and it's super comfortable for me i don't know why but my arms just kind of relax and i just kind of check out and it keeps my hips loose and then with about five matches to go which is about 35 40 minutes just i kind of pop back up onto my feet and i start working my shoulders out a little bit do a little shake do some hip cars you know move start moving again to get that blood flow and then I do that for about two matches, and then I go into the tunnel and I start amping myself up for the rest of the fights. That hole, Here we go. Kenny, can't get a, a Alan, if you guys want me, I'll I'll commentate the Bischoff match. I actually have it. Believe it or not, I'd be happy to. We can do this sometime next week and do the Bischoff match if you guys want. Yeah, he just. Doesn't you look, guys he let looks me know. Sorts, Travis Stevens, that and, would be uh, fun, actually. I've, I've only actually ever and watched it one that, time, uh, and it was for the Project 2024 20, kids. Goes, so the more difficult it's going again, to I don't boring. usually go back and rewatch the Olympics, especially 12 because it was such a on, uh, like transition gut staff. Down to ground, I really thought can. I was going to medal. So basically. This Uzbekistan guy is yeah, lefty, so all I'm trying to do yeah, right now is set up that big Koshi Grum and take his head off. I figured if I well. could, then, you know. The DK, is that a yes to the Bischoff match? I'll do it. If you guys tell me, I'll do it. I have no so problem. Certainly <laughs> much more experienced and highly credentialed opponent that he's facing. He's having no problems with him. So going, uh, trying to get Honey, the yes. right arm over. I beat... 
but every um, time Elias Savarov just seat, takes the inside uh, grip. At oh, Masters man. when I want it. Now, I don't think uh, I don't think any score is going to come of that, but uh, yeah, I'm not agree with Neil. Let's watch that again. In the world, I basically so tried to Jason Morris sticker him and fling him back. Highly credentialed opponent that he's facing. He's having no problems with him. So going, uh, so I basically figured right if I can't throw him forward with that coach every time Sabarov just takes I, the inside grip. Oh my! Yeah, I basically now, tried to stick her, and he kind of like tried think, to turn it. Uh, now, I don't think any this is an important that, but, detail, uh, right? Stevens went for. This is a super important detail because they didn't score it. Okay, so it's telling me in my head, right, that okay, I could I could have gotten thrown there. I don't panic because I really think I can throw this kid. But it's telling me in the back of my head, like, hey, they're really making sure they're going to try to get things right. And they're really going to make sure that um, whoever's going to get the score actually does enough to deserve it. Meaning you can't just turn and land on top of your partner. And it plays a big role in my semi because I could have lost it, but I didn't. But here we go. Technique, And it was Sabarov that tried the foot sweep. Stevens oh, and for those of you guys who down. haven't seen my Bischoff match, go Second to my Instagram, to at Judo Silencer. I think I posted the whole thing, Let's maybe side, last sorry, week or two no, weeks ago. I was going to say, I'm taking a little look at... Oh, at here we go. That's my grip. In, uh, I'm feeling it. I just got to get him off my tricep. The fight there, you let it go. Jimmy oh, he's going to get thrown. Said, every move, yeah. he's going through with him. Here we go. Yeah, That's boom, good. there he goes. Yuko scored to Travis Stevens there. I remember that. I remember Sabarov going, that was mine, right? There's no way that was his. The head, I'm like, I'm looking through, at Jimmy for confirmation. Like, no way, way he got that, right? Like, he hit his side, right? And I remember going, I think about to come the wait, Matt really? Yuko? I threw him straight referee, over the top. The but after rewatching it, yeah, I guess it was Yuko. Jimmy will be happy with that part of Jimmy Pedro's team force, a full-time resident training program for you, Joker. Force stands for Focus on Results, Civic Responsibility, and Education. Is the match volume Excellent. too loud like for that. you guys? Because I can I can turn it down. Now the number five ranking. I don't hear it so of well. The American here. coming predominantly from oh, the this victory is what I in the invite only World Masters in Mexico this year, and he's not in that form, but he doesn't have to be. Although stand by the Stan, I'm glad you like the he's throw. got a submission hold on his opponent. Yes, yeah, of course I've spoken to this off. To Quite a bit. 10, we bump and into then we'll see in addition to each the other score, every once in a while. In another two we should go back and look at this turn. Once to the score, over. and if he can Look hang it, on I'm to 20, on by it is all over, and he's not letting go. Here. He's in all sorts of trouble, Sabarov, and it is all over for Uzbekistan, and he's pumped now. He's pumped. Yeah, I felt it there. This is actually a funny turn. All right, let's just kind of move it forward here a little bit. I'm really messing this up. Sorry. Uh, let's keep going. Okay. Excellent. Like this that. is a funny turn. Now, the number five. Because I that right foot was not supposed to hit the floor. I was trying to do something completely different. So if anybody wondering what's going through my head right now, I'm making it up. I'm literally just flying by the seat of my pants here. Ranking of the American coming predominantly from his. No, honey, I got a, I got a score. You can see Mexico it right there on the board. This year. And he's not in that form, but he doesn't have to be. Although, stand by, the clock's ticking now. He's got a submission and hold on. And this is why it's so important to practice Nawaza. Because the rest of the world and doesn't. We'll and he should score. have been able to get out of this. Anybody that like, seconds, we'll see really put any effort on to the, the groundwork, they'd have gotten out of this in a second. But he just kept going he's in the same direction. If, trouble, he Zabarov, direction. if he just rolls the other way, he's out. For Uzbekistan, and he's pumped now. He's pumped up the American, Travis Stevens. Moves through to a quarterfinal. He was slow to get going in this one. I was But slow. once he got momentum, that man couldn't stop him. And it's so, so important. Like once you get that momentum, man, you got to keep down. it going. You got to keep it, it going. It looked as if it was on uh, straight away, but then kept at it. He had really good control of the upper, of the upper part of the body right the way through. So, Kalinor. We know that um, I butchered that for not quite sure. there at the moment. Um, They're working at yeah, it. Yeah, it was a bit of a Koga style throw. I watched, I remember on. when I was a kid, I used to show up and He's watch his Ivanov DVD in that at all the events. Match. And I used to just sit there and stare right at it and just watch it and He's study it. Because I couldn't it. afford it. But I used to watch it at all the events. The and it's what I based my standing say on and my Koshi Gruma. 
tells the so opponent. So I'm glad. Thank you for noticing. It's like his because that Travis means a lot Stevens to me. Travis Stevens winner in the round of 16. Um, Bradley, there's not so few throws. There's just a lot of different variations of the same throw. So like I like my opponent Sayanagi. If you guys haven't seen my uh, mastering opponent Sayanagi, I think in that particular instructional on judo fanatics, I I show like eight different variations of just opponent Sayanagi from different stances, different applications, why you do things in different ways, and it it just it because of the body types and the sizes and the heights and everything changes. So you've really got to like have diversity in like your one throw that you do and then everything kind of has to build around it um dilana um i'm actually not sure i should probably look that up eh, but i think the men's categories are somewhere around like 36 or so um yeah so basically the pools um are at 32 but then there's a few extra wild cards given, right? Where, um, uh, what's a good way of putting it? I'm not really sure why they're thrown in there. Um, if anybody wants to go to judo base, you can type in 2016 Olympics and then give us a count. That'd be super helpful. Oh, I'm glad it's made up. It makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, You get blocked out by the collar grip. How does that happen? You might have to send me a video of that and post it. I will do that. Is it Didi, I hope? D-I-D-I? -I? Joe, right. I wasn't choking him, though. Um, let me pull up match two again here just so that we can kind of look at this here at the end. Uh, maybe there's a slow motion play of it. Uh, that's just me throwing them. So basically... And then oh, he secures that. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Didn't also Pause. So you can see this hand right here. I'm actually just, I'm grabbing his throat. <laughs> I'm basically gupping it and yanking it in as hard as I can. I mean, maybe I was choking him by pressing into the side of his neck a little bit, but I I basically have a cross grip underneath his arm a little bit. And then when I sucked it in, my left hand actually fell off the back of the collar because when I turned him, I lost the grip. And then you can see my hand. Um, let me pull up a little arrow here. You can see that hand right there is pretty much just open fingers posted on the side of his neck so every time he tries to roll I basically grab his neck as hard as I can <laughs> Captain Nero oh I've never seen him before um but I do miss competing um I miss training more though uh interestingly enough it's um let's get rid of this it's it's the training, right? Like I used to love going to training camps with everybody and then just brawling. Like, let's just go for it. Like no cameras, no referees, like just me and you. Like you might cheat a little bit, I might cheat a little bit, but we're really just gonna see who can throw who and really go at it. And and that's really what I miss. Uh, match two, Didi. Let's see here, match two, what was my reaction? United States of He's winner. Oh. What is going to let's oh to ten and then let's we'll see, see an we addition here. to the what score. In another Probably did two seconds stupid. we'll see another addition to the score and if he can hang on I to mentally, 20, like, it is all over and he's all not letting go. He's in all sorts of trouble, so Sabarov, it just kind of like manifests when you win. For Uzbekistan and he's yeah. pumped now. He's pumped did up the American pump. Travis Stevens moves then, through to a quarter final. If you notice not in. Can I back this up with a little fist pump here? I don't want to watch the whole pin. Just the fist pump. How does this work? And he's 
now. Oh, you can't see He's it. He's pumped up the American. Travis the camera Stevens switched angles, but my teammates are kind of sitting at that in this back one. angle. But so once he got momentum, that we're man looking straight onto the match, like the back left. Oh, he turned him over into like that's kind of where down. Team USA is. Didn't look as if it was on uh, straight away, but then kept at it. He had really good control. No, I was the never other, upper part of the body. Right, the way I love through. cauliflower here. Look at that thing. So boom, massive. You know that and I use it as a weapon, go forehead to moment. forehead, put it in They're the eye socket, it. grind it in there a little bit. Get better and better as oh. the day goes on. He's but have Ivanov that's enough of that because match. now, let me pause this. Now what we got going on is match number three, which is the quarterfinals. And I'm going to switch it back here. The cool thing about this matchup is I remember, I remember sitting down with Jimmy and we were talking about like, who's going to win? The Bulgarian or the Korean? And I was like, ah, I mean, I'm going to beat them both, but the Bulgarian will be the easier match. And I, and I don't know why. I had actually never trained with or fought either of them. I don't know how this happens. I had been on the circuit for 10 years. These guys have been on the circuit for a few years. I don't know how we never did Randori together. We never did a thing at a training camp. I never even grabbed their gi and like, as like a walking by, pushed them to the side. Right, so I had no like physical contact with these people, um, but I I remember when the when the Bulgarian won, I was like, oh, it, things are just falling into place for me, like that's just what we got going on. on. Like it's just everything's going my way. Can't go wrong. Oh, this is the ref. This is the ref that I always felt like screwed me out of stuff. Turns out she United refed States my match at the Olympics, so I don't like I like her now. Versus the world number five. He might be here for a while, as someone famous once said in another sport. He's the Bulgarian, Ivanov. Ah. And Stevens. Christian, yeah. He, you know what? I remember looking at his draw Blue. going, wow, that sucks. That's come a together hard and they're draw. ready to go now. Like that was just. I'd have to go back. I actually have never seen his matches, so I'm not sure what happened there. Division Bulgaria versus the United States of America. Well, I think Travis Stevens has his work cut out here. He knows that. He's going to have to make sure that all of his techniques are really solid, and that they hit. Getting the a little right physical though. I like it. I've Pushing him, getting in close. He, he can turn. A technique against you, just Whoa. like that, exactly like that. Has to be. Good thing strong. Coca's aren't around anymore, because that was a solid so, boom. Again, Coca. Stevens attacked there, <laughs> hooking the inside of the leg. Ivanov just turned it against him. Ivalo Ivanov, bronze medalist in the European Champions Championships this year in Russia, competing at Olympic level for the first time. Is the 22-year-old and his opponent 30 he years was of age? He was 22 Travis here. Stevens. He was in oh. London and in Beijing, just outside the... I mean, I was 22 when I made my first London games, too, but, like, woof. Beautiful he kind of snuck Nagy underneath there. it. He's kind of fast. Shoulder throw there from Ivanov. <laughs> Look at this. It's Travis Stevens in the European Hold Champions. Hold on, I want to play this back here, because this is funny. He's, like, first time he's like subconsciously trying to gather his thoughts, right? 30 years of age, Travis Stevens. He Look at that gripping by me, controlling that Beijing, sleeve. That's such a rarity. In and then I lost it. And then I almost got thrown because I lost it. Drop Aggie Terrible there. gripping. Shoulder throw there from Ivan. Always, always control the sleeve, people. Always. Jimmy Pedro saying, use your feet. So kick him. Got it. Foot. That's I can do needs. that. I can kick him. <laughs> Man, for all you jiu-jitsu guys, if there are jiu-jitsu guys watching here, when you talk about grip strength, like, I'm a fairly strong human, okay? And you guys always talk about how, like, strong people's grips are in jiu-jitsu, but look at this guy. Look at how much force I have to put into this grip break, and he is still holding on to that grip. That is impressive. I don't care who you are, that is impressive. And yeah, honey, I was 30 here. I technically could have fought Masters a few months later and won Masters the same year I meddled at the games. Um, but yeah, so let's let's keep going here. Not much has really happened, so there's not much to talk about. I'm kind of just pushing him Stevens. around. And... 
in the right position for a, a, a shoulder throw himself there. Oh, he he's first stupid. In, though. Just a little bit In the nervous. words of Big Jim, chance. stupid judo. Ivanov needs to get out of there. Stevens <laughs> needs to really <laughs> attack. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I've never seen this before. And like my head's clearly like buried in his hip right now. So I didn't see what was going on. I'll show you what was so funny to me. Um, so basically I'm First going for over one. under here. Just a little bit nervous. And I'm trying he's to pass his, his guard. Chance. And right here he's like I'm fighting it. I'm doing a good there. job. And he's like, oh, right here. Look at him. He like looks back at the ref like, hey, you're going to stop this kid? Because I, I messed up. I messed up. He's, he's passing. Please stop it. He's like begging for help right now. Stevens <laughs> needs to really attack him here now. Could he upset it? He just might. Olsai Komi there. He's and got Stevens has got <laughs> it. I'm so Ten pumped right now. I'm like, 15 oh. seconds. It's upgraded and 20 seconds is his target. He just needs to hold him now because this is one <laughs> of the biggest upsets stuck. there. Ivanov didn't need to be down. Pause. This is super important and it's, it's such a minor detail. But um, for all of you guys um, that are judo players here and you're wondering what's going through my head, to get out of this position, jiu-jitsu guys will tell you, ah, oh, just push down on the head and then throw the leg over, right? So that, um, you know, you basically, once you figure for the head and arm, it's basically mate and the refs will stop it. But what I do that a lot of people don't really pay attention to is look at what I do with my head, okay? When I'm in this position, you can see my head's turned. That's how it's taught, that's how we teach all the kids. Turn your head to the rear, secure it, use your head to press into the body, right? Nice and simple. Um, honey, there's no scores for passing the guard. You basically just get a pin, and if you hold it for 20 seconds, it's e Um Yeah, Danny, and that's what I'm going over right here. So basically when he starts touching my head and, and that's his way out, what I do is right there. I can see his hand come up and I basically turn my head back to the front so that when he's pushing on my head, his hands are in the face. And the rule of judo is anything from the hairline in front of the ears forward is technically considered the face and you're not allowed to do that. So what I do when he starts pushing my head is I basically just turn and look at his hands to be down and there. the ref basically gives him a sheet off and he stops and the clock just keeps yes, going. Yes, he has. It's all and over. Boom. He's through to the semi-final, his second successive oh. semi-final at Olympic Games. That, this moment right here just makes history because I am the first male to ever make two Olympic semi-finals. No male from America has ever done that before. So regardless of medals or not, this match just made history. Um, especially for us here in the States. Uh, I can see the questions. I can hear them kind of ticking in. So I'm just going to take a moment just to kind of go back and see if there's any actual questions in here to answer. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm glad you liked my big gym impression. <laughs> um. DK, I think you're right. I think he had an elbow problem. I think he explained it in the video. And, you know, he used to have to wear a giant pad so that, you know, and he used to just get people up and really use that shoulder to jack them up. Um, but, yeah, I, I loved his sale. To do two, let's see here. Just trying to read through. <laughs> no, uh, Christiane, like that, that pin works for kids, young adults, adults, masters. Yoko Shio from the side, super strong pin. Um, I mean, I guess it, it in in hindsight, it, it does take a little bit more of like some advanced tactics to kind of um, guarantee that you're going to get any pawn with it. But it's it's still a really really strong pin. Um, I'm just <laughs> let this play while I read through here for you guys. 
and he's pretty happy about it, and so he should be. As will his coach. Carlos, who I'm a big fan of don't change your stances. Don't do us. it. Bad for business. On with plenty to say One side will always be stronger than did. the other. Maybe the only reason to switch there, your Trevor stances Stevens, perhaps, is to do it instantaneously to set up your attack. But you would never Olympic just switch and just start fighting left-handed and then all of a sudden go, well, this exchange, I just want to fight right-handed. So it has its it place, but long. not as like a consistent. No, well, absolutely terrific stuff there from Travis Stevens. Talk about pressure. He knew that uh, that was his place to uh, take Ivanov. Ivanov, just that little bit too dangerous standing up. Um, for those of you guys asking here in the chat, yes, I was doing jiu-jitsu at this point. We wrap up. Um, well, yeah, just, big day of competition and I was a black belt under right uh, Don Hearn Henzo. And secured the uh, body, the upper part of the body of Ivanov, and he just needed to hold him for the 20 seconds. Brilliant stuff there from the American. He's through to the semi-final. Um, I wouldn't say I, I had more luck with my blue gi or my white gi. Um, Didi, but uh, my white gi did feel like it was a little tighter to me. The so blue Stevens, gi felt a pumped. little bit bigger, so of maybe the white one was more he's comfortable. Right up as he should be. Um, but he's through. Winning. Yeah, that 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 is what it is. Um, and a fun fact about this kid and being able to pull this off, and why I was able to make that transition so quickly was when we watched him at training camps, um, we noticed that when he was training and he would get pushed and he would get tired or in a bad position, he would do sumi in order to get out of it. And I kind of kept it in the back of my head going, I bet you if I push this guy, winning or losing, it doesn't matter, but if I just push on him all the time, he'll throw that sumi at me. He knows he's not supposed to, but his athletes were kind of conditioned and when you're not thinking and you're getting tired, you tend to make mental errors. And to me, that Sumi was a giant mental error. He could have done anything but that. Like, never do Sumi to me. Unless, I mean, I don't even know why you ever would because I'm just so strong from that position. It just doesn't make sense. I don't know. I mean, I really miss leg grabs. Um, I can't read your name because it's in Korean, so forgive me. Um, but... I miss it, but I'm so used to judo now. I've I've done those style takedowns before, and I kind of I don't forget the motions, but it feels so different than today's judo. It doesn't feel the same. Um, I don't know why though. No, honey, I actually learned the over underpass from Jimmy Pedro. Believe it or not, who I believe learned it from Neil Adams. I might be wrong though. But I, th I think I'm going with like an 80% certainty here. Um, hey, Emil, dude, I did your breakdown. It's launching Tuesday. So for those of you guys who don't know, I've started this new thing on my YouTube channel where you guys can submit your videos, either training, competition, or just you working out and you just want some feedback. You can send it to videos at judosilencer.com and I'll get it in my inbox and then I basically pick a video, one video a week, and I do my analysis on it. The good, the bad, the indifferent, things you could work on that I see and you can either ignore it or not. But hopefully it's a good way for everybody just to kind of learn. And Emil, yours drops on Tuesday. at I think I scheduled it for 9.15, so be on the lookout for it. And thank you for submitting an IJF match. That was great. Uh, Jason Herman, what constitutes a pin? Basically, chest contact. You have to be outside of half guard. Um, and they basically have to be pretty much at a 45-ish back to the floor. So chest has to be facing their chest. And their back has to be at least past a 45 facing the mat without your legs trapped. So they basically can't have their legs wrapped around your torso, um, arm and head, or leg. But if it's just around your arm, it's still looks like only. Like 
VS, who was I most afraid of on these Olympics? Uh, I'd have to go back and look at the draw. I mean, it feels like a lifetime ago, right? I mean, I know it's only been four years, but when you live your entire life in four years, like it's basically a lifetime ago for me, right? Because 2020 was supposed to happen this summer. No, I'm not going to compete in 2020. I'm way too fat for that. Richard, he did receive a Shido for the hand to the face in that match. Um, there's a bunch of other comments. Uh, Didi, I'm actually not sure. You think I would have gone back and like taken a screenshot at that time. But I went into this Olympic Games, fifth in the world. Um... I, I don't know what a silver in the Olympics actually gives you, right? Because we compete to go to the games and get a seat for it. I've never actually checked what the Olympics is worth. Um, Sam, uh, I saw your question about Nagase. I've only ever had one match and I've never trained with him. And the match I had with him, I actually had separated ribs from the match before against the Russian. And it, it wasn't a good match. And I had actually planned on fighting him at the Olympic final. He was the guy that I was like, oh, if I draw Nagase, I'm, I won the Olympic Games. But he ended up losing to the Russian. <laughs> go 90s or go 100s? No thanks. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the semifinal here. Right? So I've made history. Second semifinal. Only American to ever do it. Men's semifinal time now in the 81 kilogram division. Gotta get my Georgia shoulder going. I don't talk and this the much US of A. The man in blue is Travis Stevens. Oh, and you can see me. I'm going into my mantra. Focusing game. in. Here we go. Chasing Here we go. First Olympic medal. He's like, what's this guy saying? He's a crazy from man. Sam Dilly, <laughs> Crickersville from Georgia. 25 years of age. Look at that. Look at the people he beat. I'm not saying he had an easy draw, but like, man. It's not exactly the hardest draw. I really do think at this Olympics, though, the side that me and him are on, A and B, the top half of the bracket, was a lot easier than the bottom half of the bracket. In, in comparison, when you looked at just the names, not where they're placed in the bracket, but just who's actually present. Um, no, I don't compete at any any events i mean i'd be up for a super fight if somebody asked but my price tag is really high because i actually really enjoy giving back to the community and making content and shooting instructionals and and really making sure that you know the knowledge i do have is preserved for like the next generation so it's kind of the whole idea behind the youtube channel right and making sure that you know everybody has access to knowledge and high level knowledge because some of us live in Timbuktu that, you know, we really want to get good, but we don't necessarily have the resources or the knowledge or, you know, world or Olympic champions that are from our country. And so you've got to learn from somewhere. And when you're passionate and you want to learn, like, hopefully my channel can be an outlet for you. Austin, um, I don't. I don't think there was another coach that could have guided me the way I needed to be guided or stuck it out with me. I am a stubborn SOB, especially as an athlete. I'm, I'm kind of relaxed now, but as an athlete, I take it to a whole nother level. And, you know, it takes another like stubborn person like him to kind of, you know, keep you going and keep you motivated and really understand and see the big picture for you. Uh, Christiana, I changed the email. So I know in the first video I said it was Travis.VideoReviews, but I'm working on a website for everybody uh, where you can find all my instructionals in a nice, easy to put location and some more of my favorite products and working with a designer right now to come out with some cool t-shirts and gear just uh, in case you guys want to support or not support. but. 
I kind of wanted my own dedicated email for people to send in that only I had access to that was easy for people to remember. And so I went with at judo silencer, which is my Instagram handle and everywhere else. So it's been changed. Um, I changed it in the description of the video, but I know I say it and it can get, I still check it every once in a while. But once I do the third one, I'm going to stop checking that email and I'm only going to do videos at judosilencer.com. But I did get all the other results. There's like 15 of them in there. So I'll get to those as soon as I can. But let's get into this match because this is the one I think everybody wants to see. Here we go. I am now 1-5 in five against Trichesvili. And he was in London, finished just inside... I, I only have ever beaten him at the Olympic Games. They want gold. For whatever There's reason. Here we go. All pumped boys. up. Here we go. Reminding himself that he's alive oh, Marky. It was a match, dude. I hope you like it. It took me forever now. to film. It's, it's like really. seven hours of content. Just going Daniel. over all my different strategies. Linking all the different Negeti. threads together. The world number um, two and I really hope you enjoy it. Defeated in the other half of the draw in the quarterfinals. It opened it up big time for him. Choke Judo, extra. that was the plan. Do whatever I can to Stevens, not get picked up and take it to the last five. minute and win That's the fight. On a victory in the Masters that was the only this plan. In Mexico. An invite only contest that was. The Masters, the best of the best. And this, even better. It's the Olympic Games. It's Look at that, I just steal time. a sleeve. I try to show him my Georgia strength by taking it and pulling it in and going, That's mine. You're not Second, getting that back. And then he pulled it in and I went, Uh oh. For Stevens. <laughs> Executive games. Judo highlights, you're here. Shikazi and I, had an absolute I know you said it in one of the comments, and I saw it about making a highlight. I'm excited. If you don't get to it, no big deal. But I'd be super excited to see what you come up with because you do some awesome ones. Yep. It's already gone better, of course. Three attacks now by Steven. Oh, Sven, I'm glad you guys like the content, and it helps a lot. You know, it's all I'm really trying to do. Like, I know it's not for everybody. I know some people really, really don't like my coaching style or my input. And that's really okay. Here, I Stevens. get it. I'm not for everybody. But, you know, some people really do like it. Oh, Marky, you hit the Cuban roll. Nice. I love that system. It's, so, it's such a simple system, so the Cuban really roll. just been off the, off the mark. Just not. Oh, I'm excited. Oh. To say, he's just behind on attacks. Dude, that's totally up to you. You do such an amazing job as it is. Like, really I'll be stoked with whatever sure you come up with. He gets online and Everybody keep a look out on his first. channel. He's, he's got some amazing Stevens judo highlights. He's starting to work himself ahead. He's also got to be careful, Trick is really, on the ground. Because Travis Stevens could possibly catch him there. That's right, Neil. I can catch anybody in the world. So this is an interesting little tidbit for those of you guys that don't know. You got to remember the strategy for Tertius Philly, right, is to take it to the last minute. So anything I can do, even if it means cheating, to kill five seconds is, is such an important moment because if I can do something like a cross grip and hold on to it for five seconds where he can't throw me, and then I can exchange out of it and get into another situation and then go back to like a cross grip that I can only hold for a few seconds. If I can keep something like that up and take it to the last minute, I can wear him down to where he makes a mistake. And that's what I'm doing right here. If we play this, possibly catch him there. I'm actually uh, right there. You can see me pretty much right here. I'm holding his hand. Like I got all his fingers. Like you're not grabbing my gi. And in the past, if you go watch us fight in the final of the Georgia Grand Prix, I get into this exact scenario and I throw a big coach room because I'm like, oh, I'm going to nail him this time. And I go, he bends a little, he locks onto my waist, he souffles me, bang, smashes me free palm in his home crowd. <laughs> you got to go for, you got to go for broke though. Um, so, in, so in this match, everything is about dragging him. Right, get it to the ground, get it to the ground. Even if it doesn't score, just the fact that I'm burning the clock and not getting Shitos, that's all that matters. And that's what that grip is doing. I'm just eating the clock away. When I feel like I'm gonna get a Shito, I let it go and I do a drop sail and I just try to drag him down. It's not even about getting the hips in and trying to finish, just drag him down to the mat. Get inside his head, frustrate him a lot. 
Though the Georgian coach saying, got to really throw the arm over the top. Hey, Steve Rundberg's here, a PJC member. There's no way that he can be casual in this match here, Shrikajvili. See, there I am. I'm he holding his hand again, not letting it go. Oh, he's turned it. That was turned. That's going to be at least a Wazari, if not an Ippon. Because I think that Travis Stevens made a mistake there. He I did that, make a mistake. It's going to go to I video very referee. much made a mistake. Um, right here. But you can see that if we go slow, like, he actually lets go. Right? Like, He's not actually holding on. I'm holding oh, his sleeve. Turned it. That was turned. That's going to be at least so. Was if we go back to the other Ippon, match, because right I where I tried the Travis sticker Stevens against the Uzbekistan there, guy, and he didn't do and enough. Right, you can't just turn referee. and face. The referee just wants to stop that for a second. And they go back to the judges, and I think I think they kind of see the Is same thing. Like he just turned. Forget, like he didn't actually like change the direction. Like I was going there anyways. Like that's how you finish that throw. He didn't give it. Well, I do crowd, think I was lucky, kind of though. Agreeing with me, I think, but uh, anyway, nothing. Dude, it happened that. five times. I, I, he smashed me five times. Oh, and a good one there from Steven. Steven's well in. Two minutes gone. What a good match this is. Travis Stevens fighting. Choke Judo, you're completely right. If you guys want to read his comment, well. he's dead on. Like, Great for the grips. he laid me out in like 15 that he's got to go seconds. First in and every attack has got to be strong. And he's going to go ahead in this match now because... He laid me out because he, he just kind of like changed his stance. And then, of the boom, area. big right Uchimata if memory serves me right. Yes, thank you for remembering that. I remember it very well. And I actually got smashed by the French kid the round That's before in the four. semi. I couldn't really? believe it. But you can see Turkishvili's tempo has changed, right? Like, he's getting frustrated, he's ripping, he's throwing. He's not that calm, cool, collected guy anymore. He really wants to get at me. Jimmy's pumped. <laughs> he's pumped. And I'm looking at the guy like, look, man, he's cheating. Don't do that, guys. Just fight the fight. Don't do what I did. Stevens gets it as well, or evens it all up. That's okay. Three minutes gone, just coming up anyway. Anybody's match this. Sven, dude, he is a huge Aranagi master. Paul, oh, this is such an important moment. Because I think this moment in time is where I broke him. This is it. And I remember it specifically because I'm in such... Right here, like, look at my posture right here. I'm upright. I'm standing up. I got a big, strong post. I got his sleeve. We're good. And then... Anybody's match this and then he breaks down my arm and you can see like now look at my posture. I'm freaking out I'm like this is not going my way. I'm in, I'm in such a bad shape and remember he's throwing me right Uchimata before and you can look at his posture nice and upright look at my posture. I'm bent Not a good sign, right? Just aesthetically like I look like crap here and I'm freaking out so what happens is, is I hit that foot, I go bang, and I kick it out, and he stumbles. And now look at his posture, it's bent. I hit, whoop, what happened? Oh, I lost it. No. Here we go. No, I lost it. There it is. Did I lose? Yeah, here we go. My bad, guys. So I kick that foot out. Shido, they're loving every moment. And look, he's frustrated. He's like, oh. He's good, it's all square. He's so frustrated. Minutes, then we'll get into golden school and I'm time. like, I'm nailing. I'm not getting Cheetos for these attacks. I'm going to yeah. keep doing them. The crowd that make but I'm wearing them down. I'm going to get inside his head. Make a lot of noise tend to go uh, a little quieter when we're hitting the golden score time. It's just Look at me. I'm doing the hand grab again. It's almost golden score. And I go for that move again. That's how confident anyway, like, I feel like I'm breaking him down, right? Because that technique, it almost cost me an Olympic final again. But I really feel confident. And I'm really getting... Getting amped to win this fight and make the Olympic final, so I do it again just because I see it there. And you can see he doesn't have the same type of reaction normally enough because he wants to throw me. I'm inside his head now. Protection and the athlete that's good enough to score to defend or choke judo. Thank you for that. It's kind of been my game plan just figure out their weakness and kind of just keep poking it. Georgia here, Travis Stevens, 30 years of age, a carpenter, and he's well, you can see his frustration. Build up an attack here. 
Well, we gotta go back and watch this. Just look at Turkish Philly's face right here and just watch it. I'm backing up. I'm making him come to me, right? He's chasing me down. The USA versus Georgia here. Travis Stevens, 30 years of age. Look, he can't get at me. Look at look at his face. He's just he's he's fed up with it. up an attack here. I've I frustrated him. To the floor. And then I drag him down to the mat again. Mat again. For me, uh, Travis Stevens is the one that's initiating here all the way through. One minute twenty-eight here. He got very, very close. To uh, I'm still technically Olympic engaged, DB. I'm not. I'm not backing up so far that he can't get at me. So London. I'm engaged. We're moving now, back and forth. Like, look at I got him on the on edge. I'm pressuring him. I'm pummeling with my grips. Like I'm staying engaged. Referee trying to get them in the center. Yeah, and I'm like, not on, because he's going to throw that me. That was a bad technique there from Travis Stevens. Just once too often falling on his back, and it should be a Shido. And, really yeah. Should. Yep, it that's no problem, though. Because remember, I'm just trying to get to that last minute, because then it'll break him. That's, that's the plan. Throws, and now Shrikis Billy just might start to open up. Oh, here Coming it comes. Up to the last here minute. it comes. He hasn't been on the best form, Shrikis Billy. <sighs> not at all. Look at that. Oh. That might be on. That might be on. It is on. Yes, he has. Oh, and we did it. And Travis Pumped. Stevens is in the final. Pumped. And he catches Pumped. Trickers, really. With right right with the game fast. plan. Minute left in the match. Up. We're going to win. And that strangle win. there has taken Stevens oh. through to the final. We did it. Wow. Is all you can say after watching that. Pumped. Everyone was starting to think about. Almost can't even contain on that. I remember it. I was like, having oh, trouble thinking now about it's over. Why he didn't attack. Well, it wasn't necessarily his fault. That was just a, a wonderful move from Stevens, who stands in the background, looks up to the crowd, to his fans, to his family. Hand on heart, hand on the stars and stripes. And uh, maybe he just starts to think, hang on, I'm right in this. Well, oh, I knew he was. I remember it. My heart's racing. Be just like it was yesterday. Man. He took out the world oh. number four in the quarterfinal and now the world number one in the semifinal. Travis Stevens is through to the gold medal match. No, nah, honey, not you, Jitsu. This Kilogram is judo. Division here in Rio. Just missed the medals in London. Well, he can't miss. Oh. There I go. I go off for that run to make it back to the final. Oh, so many good memories. David, I'm glad you like that. It's, you know, you've really got to. You've really got to like dial in your mental prep when we're talking about, you know, the Olympic Games, right? Like you, you can't just, you can't just wing it. It's not just, oh, I'm going to grab the gear and I'm going to throw the guy. You've really got to kind of fine tune your do's and don'ts in any matchup. It doesn't matter what it is, right? Like I'm going to stay away from this, but I can do this. And anything in the middle is kind of okay, right? So with him particularly, it was do any attack that he can't pick me up and counter with Uranagi. If I can do that, I'm gold. My other plan is drag him to the floor as many times as possible without getting a Shido. And when I get into the final minute, that's when we're gonna look to score. Cause honestly, when we're thinking about the game plan, if we score before the minute, it may enrage him so much that he comes after you and you just can't hold him off without getting thrown. So we were worried about that too. So it was more about, hey, fight smart, fight hard, fight for all the grips as hard as you can. And then at the last minute, we're going to beat him. Oh, for sure we're watching the final. I don't mind watching myself lose. I got that pulled up. I'll, I'll pull it up right here and pause it just to kind of read through the comments. Here we go. Final. <laughs> Carl, I'm glad you like watching judo. <laughs> and yeah, so some of you guys might be a little confused. I can see the comments here. The rules did change from this Olympics to 2020 and what you see now. Um, actually, in all of my Olympic games, all three were different rule sets.
Let's see here. Um, Drugata two, Drugata two. A uh, 57-year-old who started judo again after 44 break. Should I focus on Ashiwaza and about 5'7", 180? No. I, I think you should focus on hip throws and making sure you're comfortable with falling and using a crash pad. Do a lot of ukeme, move around, rolling. Um, get comfortable with the mat and how it feels and being able to take a fall. Because once you get comfortable and your body gets used to that impact, then you can jump into randori. If you do randori too soon, your body's just going to take too much of a beating. So a lot of rolls, a lot of like light impact on the ground to kind of get your body used to those impacts. Oh, maybe Ted Groom was coming back. Maybe. Uh, maybe. It's possible. I've, I've heard talks too, but nothing from anybody, you know, that's really high up in the IJF. But let's get into the Olympic final here. Here we go. Danny. So re really quick, that's... I actually wrote a book on my mental preparations for throughout my whole career on like the ups, the downs, the what worked, the what didn't, and I titled it Undefeated. And I shot a trailer for it. I shot everything. It was supposed to get released in an ebook. And, you know, I got busy. I had to pay the bills. Um,. I got no, I can't even throw an excuse at it. It's just I was being lazy and didn't finish it. I think it's like 24, 27 chapters and there's like four chapters that need to get finalized before it goes into a print production and it kind of just sat in my email for so long that I don't know what to do with it now. So I kind of wrote one, but I'm not really sure what to do with it. Honey, it's in my email. That like I went back and forth with the guy who was uh, fixing all the edits because if any of you know, I, I don't do spell check. I just kind of like throw out all my ideas and he was kind of helping me put it in like a legible format for people to consume. And we had about three to six chapters left before it could be put all together and a table of contents made and a front cover, back cover all produced uh, to be released. Um, and it was called Undefeated, but I haven't done anything with it other than, you know, paid $2,500 or something for a trailer that I never released and all the, you know, writing content and back and forth with the editors and stuff. Danny, I might, I might have to pull it back out. Right now, I think the focus is on YouTube, but if I ever get into a workflow where I got some extra time, um, I'm still in contact with that publisher. We send emails back and forth pretty much every month. I'm pretty sure I could resurrect that project and finish it because it's only about filling in some small gaps to, to bring it all together rather than trying to rewrite the entire thing. VS, ah. Uh, I, I'll try. I'll I'll try to get the book done, but first we gotta we gotta get all the content out. I got a lot of stuff to do, man. Like <laughs> I don't know. I just hate writing. I don't mind talking on camera and video stuff and teaching, but writing. Oh, like the other thing I wrote. I, we called it the American Judo System. We basically took stills of all the different judo throws and how to do them, and it basically it's all of Jimmy's. Um, systems that helped him win his olympic medal kayla win her olympic medals me win my olympic medal ronda her olympic medal and we took all of those teachings and we like put them into different categories so all the newaza that we do all the tachi waza we do all the gripping we do all the basic fundamental and understanding we put it all into a book and again i just fell i fell short on it guys oh, oh i just fell short i don't know We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but let's get into the final here. And then we'll talk about the book after if we want to. But here we go. 
And here are the gold medal men, the potential gold medal men in the men's 81 kilogram division. That's a tough draw. From Russia. That's a tough draw. Sean Kalamazayev. Outstanding right throughout. And what about Travis Stevens of the USA? Just keeping Jonathan keep about high ranked um, opponents. Weight cutting. The number one in the it, world it went in through stages. Sometimes, you know, I would yo yo, and sometimes I could right keep that a regional thing where I could just kind of bounce down and, and go back old. to normal. It, it just really depends. 22 years of age, the Russian, as he begins his walk to the mat. Belomazayev, world number six. DK, I would consider a bundle. Champion, um, and Judo Fanatics, you know, Russia, we've actually considered trying to finish it. Five, years of I, age. It's, it's on me, guys. This it's it's 100% on me. It's not on the riders. It's not on anybody else. It's on this guy's shoulders. And I just... What have these two got? I don't know, man. Like, I just... From Georgia. It's hard. Stands on the edge of the mat. We'll call these two men to the middle in just a moment. And here we go. This is a gold. Mark, I would say it's about the bow. same. It's not I, I didn't really Belmont change much. Drago, but it is the United States versus the Russian Federation. Trevor Stevens of America. I can tell white. you right now that that grip I have, for those of you guys that can't see it, that grip I have right there, I am feeling super confident that I could just walk out there and take it because it shuts down all of his judo. And I'm like, oh. I'm going to kick the crap out of this guy. Oh. Um, choke jiu-jitsu. Um, I, I honestly think I lost because of a fluke. I, it just, you know... It just didn't go well. It just wasn't my day. But I did what I was supposed to do. And we'll play it in slow motion. And I'll, I'll kind of tell you my game plan and why I did what I did. And, you know, let you guys be the judge. I don't know. But anyways, my confidence is like 100% right now. Because I stole that sleeve. And I'm basically pushing him around the mat. And I love it. Son Kalamazayev of Russia in blue. And we are away. Um, JPPX. Yeah, Just do judo, man. Go Grab the gi. Travis Stevens is going to try and get Yes, I took it off again. I'm feeling sure super that. confident. Calibre he doesn't Zaya like that grip. going to look for the opportunity for counter. He's had great Sven, skills. yeah, Jimmy's such Four a good teacher. Already, he so knows judo Travis inside Stevens. and out. Anytime Travis you get a Stevens chance to learn from him, just having take the day it. Of his life. It's going to be a penalty straight away, is it? Might get the benefit of the doubt there. Just this once. This isn't going to be decided on Cheetos, though. I knew that going into this. Somebody's getting thrown here because we're going for it. a lot of nerves out there. First final We're going to win Travis Olympic Stevens. gold medal in style, or we're going home with silver. Semi-finalist in London. This time, he does it. They're not the big heavyweights, but they are not small boys. They're so agile and so strong. Of course, that's what this sport is all about, the balance of body and mind. And there's strength in, in both. And the throw there comes from the American, but no score, couldn't get... His Russian opponent on his back or his side, but can he get a hold now? Continues to work at it. He's really I thought I had him here dead to rights. Of the Russian He's in his hand. I was like, He's oh, I have him dead now. to rights. Can he get around the body, around the neck? Like, He'll oh, still I got go. Him. The referee will let oh. this go. Oh, he's doing everything he can. Travis Stevens here now stands oh. over the top. My heart's One racing. I, I to get underneath. Oh, I'm can living he do it again. Kilimazayev is strong in defense. Referee watches, the clock ticks. Wow, what a wonderful move this oh. is from the American. He's really giving his all. Oh, here. I thought but I had him. Hold. It was over. It's hard to see what's oh, happening there. This we side. know he's not going to stop the referee oh. up close. He calls Mate, oh. and after all of that, no score. Oh. oh. So, even though I missed it, right, like, I get it. I screwed up. Don't screw up. Don't screw up in the Olympic final, but I screwed up, but don't do that. Um, the big, big takeaway from this is the amount of time that was taken off the clock because I plan on winning this fight on the ground. I don't plan on winning this fight on the feet. And for me, 
the more the more times I have to get up and get into a Tachiwaza exchange, a standing exchange with my opponent, the more opportunities he has to win because I don't think anybody on the circuit could beat me on the ground without just throwing and landing in a pin, right? But they're not going to turn me with some technique and then pin me. So every time I'm on my feet, I have an opportunity to be thrown versus when I'm on the floor, I have zero opportunity to lose. And when we play this clock back a little bit, let's just go all the way back. So we're here in the match, okay? Let's go all the way back to the beginning. We're at 310. And let's just kind of go back to, where is it? Yep, let's just keep going. Right here at 357. At 357, the Russian takes his grip, and we hit play, in mind and, there's and in boom, 354, we hit the ground. I killed basically 45 seconds on the ground. 45 seconds of a five-minute match. That, like, think about that. I took an entire minute basically off the clock where the Russian cannot throw me. That in and of itself is a win. And the throw there... But Let's move it back up and right here. So 310, we've knocked off Travis basically Stevens 40 seconds. Very, very hard there to secure the arm. Choke Judo, thank but, you. Uh, I'm glad you like my strategies here. The arm in every time. <laughs> That's right, don't screw up the Olympics like Attack I did. Or defend. It's one don't of the do hardest that. Things. Groundwork takes such a lot out. Oh, and you can hear you, some of the USA in the background. Stand up, go At least again. I can Sometimes in the headphones. You have to know when to release it, not go for it. This is where he almost uh, launches me. Extend too much energy. It's all finished. And that was a brilliant technique there from Kalamazayev. Now, I get it. I almost got thrown for Epona. I get it. But this guy beat me before. Remember what I said when we first started the stream? In the, in the beginning, everybody I fought at this Olympic Games beat me the last time we fought and that's true for him he beat me in the finals of i want to say cuba was it cuba i was something i have to go back into the into the records i'm gonna go with cuba and he actually faked uchimata and switched and threw me for wazari backwards so when i was working out with him at a camp just before this i actually let that uchimata happen and he never really scored with it so this is the closest he ever got so even though it looks close, I'm still feeling super confident. Like, I want to let him in on the Uchimata. I'm never going to bite on it because he'll switch me back for Epon because he did it to me and he did it to a lot of other players as he qualified for the games. So let the Uchimata come. Don't let him go behind. That's one of the rules. Remember, we got we to gotta allow some things to happen, and this is one of them. Kalamaze have got to be careful every time he goes down to ground. He knows that. Travis Stevens, straight on his back every time. It's a spectacular final, isn't it? But still no score. The third Dan black belt in judo is that man Travis Stevens. He also has a black belt in judo jitsu, and he says that has taught him that they all he kind can of catch together. anyone and he can't be caught. He says it's given him the confidence, and well, he's got plenty of confidence. That's here why go, he's I here in an Olympic final. Ah. Can he get a score? Oh, the ball over. He takes him. Oh. Oh. He didn't even do anything. He didn't even do anything. Oh, that's so bad. Oh. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, but in, in, in hindsight, right? Like the reason why this throw works for and him. He can't be caught. He says it's given him the confidence, and well, he's got plenty of confidence. That's why he's here. In a right here, that this this particular moment, I I don't know why it happened because it worked in the earlier exchange. It's the same technique. It just looks a little different from the angle. And where he landed on his face and I was able to kill that 40 seconds on the clock, right? But something happens where he, I, I land on my knee. That's not supposed to happen. I'm supposed to land on my hip. 
not my knee, my hip. How I, why my knee hit the floor is beyond me, right? Because if I remember where I'm at here and we go all the way back to the beginning, when I threw him down to the mat, where is it? I think it's right here, right? And we kind of just kind of right here. Strength and See how like I laid out, I'm laying out. That's what I was supposed to do, right? That is what we're supposed to do. And now if we go forward in time here, why I'm here, I got nothing. Like, well, he's got plenty of confidence. That's why he's here in an Olympic. Right. Like why I put my knee down. I got, oh, gives me nightmares. Oh, just watching it. Like, why was I such an idiot? But that's the whole reason why it works is because when he's pulling that arm, when I throw my chest down, he gets dragged down to the floor. And he can't do the Uchimata because his face will hit the ground. And he won't be able to have that leverage. I actually, when my knee touches the floor, I allow, I allow this far leg here to plant. Because now we have a base. Because here, my leg is working as one part of the base. Final. Right here. See? Whoop. Here's one thing on the floor. Can I move this there? Here's the other thing on the floor. And this is why he's able to throw me through Shimada. If my knee's not there and I'm laying down, he's not standing with that leg at an upper 45. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, we lost the Olympic final because I put my knee on the mat. I didn't make 100% commitment. I gave it 90% and it cost me the Olympic Games. Oh. Oh. Oh, it like just looking at it drives me nuts because it's such a it's such a small like it's such like a small thing that like everybody would overlook and not pay attention to. But it's like, why did I do that? I never did that. And we practiced this technique. Right. We practiced this with so many like, oh, let me go back to the main camera here. Like I brought in three really talented Japanese players. Right. One. Both of them fought. For the national team for japan one of them won the university's 81 kilos and you know that technique worked on all of them to drag them down to the ground when they got their grip when they settled and they started moving i could hook in and then bring them down to the floor and it worked like a charm i never got thrown in training camp with it and i also never put my knee on the floor come to think of it but you know what are you really going to do i guess it just, oh, it's, there's such small things at the highest level that can cause you to win or lose. Kevin, I have no idea what the name is for that floor. I just drag them down to the mat and smash their face into the ground so you can do Nawaza. I mean, I enjoy watching it. Like, I get it. I lose. And I think... I mean, I have the confidence in my judo. Anybody that wants to like tell me I suck at judo, my doors are always open. I'll work out with anybody. You know, uh, judo highlights. Yes. Um, um. I did. I brought three of them. Let me see here if I can pull this up. Do, 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 do. If I go here, um, let's see here. Where would it be? Where would I have put it? Um, maybe here. I got so many things on my computer. It's crazy. I don't know what I did with it. I used to have a picture of all of us together, you know, when I right before I left for uh, the games, but I guess I don't. 
No, it wasn't. They all, they all kind of gladly came because they weren't selected for the national team for um, Japan for the training for their Olympic team. Uh, Nishiyama, Yuki Nishiyama was one. He used to be 73s, but he moved up to 81. Um, Kosuke Tanaka was the other one that won universities. And um, Nagashima, uh, 81 kilos. I fought him in the Grand Slam in Tokyo, was the third. I used to have a picture of it. I don't know what happened to it. No, it wouldn't be here. Maybe it's on my desktop. I would rather fight a bear than fight Travis. I would like to fight a bear. That would be fun. We'll see how that goes. Declaw him and let's go. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd call it pulling guard. It, I mean, kind of landed on top of the guy. Or at least off to the side to get on top. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. But... Maybe in the future I'll do some more of these. Um, again, if you guys really want to see the Ole match and have me actually sit through and watch me lose an Olympic uh, final berth, I will I will gladly do that and tell you guys my thoughts on what happened, what I think, how it all played out. I Like I said, I have the match. Um, we can definitely do that. Uh, maybe sometime next week we could do that. And then I think in the future... I really plan on pulling up even matches that I lose because I think there's a lot of value into uh, matches that I lost because sometimes you lose doing things right because your partners can do something right and you can just get caught. It happens. Um, and I think it, people need to learn how to train and think in that way because... You can't just lose a match and then go back to the drawing board and go, oh, I got to rework my judo every time you lose. Like You do need some consistency and strength building and you do have ups and downs throughout your career. You recover from injuries, like your training partners recover from injuries. Like There's just so many things that go into it. So um, yeah, if this is something people find useful and helpful and can learn from, then you know we'll pull up some matches of me losing, winning, just to you know get insight on what happened. Um, yeah, I hope everybody, you know, really enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed watching it. Um, uh, hey, I'm glad you like my commentary. I don't get paid professionally to do this. So this is my first time. <laughs> um, choke judo. Yes. Kita. Nagashima. Yeah, that was, that was his name. I, I messed that up. My bad. Paul, what was my biggest improvement? I didn't care going into 2016 whether I medal or not. Like I, you know, the final bit of my judo, I just looked back on my career as I got older and I said, am I really happy? Like, am I? Can I, if I had to hang up my judo career right now going into like 2014, if I had to just hang it up, would I be satisfied? And I remember thinking to myself going, you know what? I might not have a world title. I fought an Olympic semi, like I took fifth. If I had to end today, I could I could hang my hat and keep my chin up because I could tell people, you know what, I was a top five player in the world for many years. I fought an Olympic semifinal. I finished fifth. I made two Olympic games. And once I accepted that like that was okay and I didn't need like another medal to like make me happy or put that little checkbox on my career to say, now I can hang my hat up. Competing was just about, hey, I just want to show you guys how good I am. Like no pressure. Like let's just go out here and let's just show the world how good I am at judo. That's what's important. And once I did that and I started competing for the love of the support and just wanting to show people how good I was, um, winning just became easy. Right? I really got into a role with that mindset going into 2016. Um, 
basically the process for the Olympics is simple. Um, there's a two year process. The first year points are worth 50%. The second year is worth full points. And for this Olympic Games, top 22 gets selected. Every country gets one representative regardless in a wild card position. So if you qualify, you know, not a full team, somebody from your team will get a wild card. And if you do qualify, let's say five people, you'll get a sixth as a wild card. Uh, USA Dad, where do I find training partners to fit my caliber? Um, you know, mo most of what we do is training tactics and systems and making sure that no matter how tired we get, we stick to the system and the plan. And I think a lot of people just try to find tough rounds instead of making sure that they're staying disciplined in the round. And when you try to stay disciplined and try to pull off specific things, the other people in your club know what you're trying to do and they'll play against it. And so every round tends to be difficult. Some of my hardest matches were people I trained with, not people I competed with. But we do still go for those tough rounds. Obviously, we just go internationally for them. So I'm glad everybody liked it. Um, again, I'll try to do this again just to give you guys a sneak peek. I do plan on doing a live Q&A with Kayla Harrison on Tuesday. That is coming to the channel. We're going to hold it just like this and you guys are going to be able to drop your questions in the comments below and she'll be here to answer them. I'm going to ask her some questions and it should be a good old time. It'll be about an hour. Okay, so a little bit shorter than this, but we should be able to get to everybody's questions. So thank you guys for being here and if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't heard, I just got the memberships up on my site running. So if you want some extra content and you want to show support for the channel, try to grab a membership. USA Dad. Everybody loves Kayla. <laughs> so you guys can ask her judo questions, MMA questions. Everything's on the table. But... Choke judo. I have tried before I go. I have tried. I spent like 10 hours in one day trying to find my 2012 Olympic footage. If you know anybody that has it, guys, send me a message, get in touch with me any way you know how because I would love to have it. The only matches I have are my bronze medal fight and the semi fight. I don't have any of the previous matches. But if I could get them, I'll do it for this too because I again, I have never seen those matches. So I would love to rewatch those with you guys too. So. Again, if anybody watching ever finds it or knows anybody that has it, shoot me a message because I'd love to get my hands on it. But thank you guys. It's time for me to sign off. Have a good night.